Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a little of this, a little of the other, and a very special announcement. Yes, I am announcing a giveaway video. Yes, as in the title. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, usually uh, I have been doing giveaway videos like every 25,000 subscribers or so. Um, and we're not quite up to 225 at the moment, but I thought my birthday is coming up on the 19th and I thought it would be really nice to give back to you guys always because you guys give so much to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the way of support and comments and happy mail and all sorts of love. Thank you. So yes, I am doing a giveaway and I will go into the details of that in a bit. But as always, I like to touch base with you guys, see how you're doing. What are you up to? Oh man, I have been busy, 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 busy. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> that that's not new. Mm -mm, no, I've been working on various works in progress and I've been doing more, more bunny work, as I call it. Um, one of my uh, recent videos, I showed that I was working on let's see if I can get this guy out here. Yes, this this cute little guy. Yes, I, I love him. He doesn't have a name. No, uh, he already, he's he's been adopted by somebody. However, I am making another one at the moment. I am. He's almost done. Um, he's, he's missing some accoutrement. Yes, he needs his little ears sewn on and his little face. But otherwise, you know, he, he's a twerking bunny, you know, he, he can do his thing. Um, and so I already made up his little cardigan. It, I love how this guy is coming out and the pattern in general. I am writing out the pattern, actually. Yes, I am writing out the pattern. Um, and I have most of it done already. Uh, however, I still have to write out the part for the cardigan and I think the ears and the head I have to write out. But I, I've written notes that I guess only I can understand. Um, I have to like write it out, write it out, you know, but I am working on it. I am. I am working on it so that I can have a written pattern available on my Etsy store, as well as, of course, yes, I do plan on doing a full-fledged crochet along type tutorial for the bunny. I love him so. And also I am thinking about other various Amigurumi type of projects to work on as well. I mean, in my repertoire of making Amigurumi, um, I've made a whole cornucopia of animals. Yes, uh, everything from bunnies to bears to penguins, uh, frogs, elephants, pigs, turtles, octopi, you know, octopuses, octopi, um, no sour pusses. Mm -mm, no sour pusses allowed in here. Mm -mm. Um, however, I heard the greatest quip, little joke. If you ever see somebody who's, who's putting on a sour face, I found, I, I heard this. I, it's probably not new, but it's new to me, and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you ever see somebody with a sour puss, you know, like a mm, stinky face, say, whoever knitted your face dropped a stitch. I love it. I, 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 apparently it's an old Liverpool saying. I, I don't know. You correct me if I'm wrong. I saw it online. I just died. And I found that because I was looking up a quote that my grandmother used to say, which was, if ever I got hurt, you know, like a a, a boo-boo, as it were, when I was a little kid, uh, my grandma would always say, it'll be a pig's foot in the morning. And I told a coworker and I got looked at like I had five heads. Um, so I looked it up. Apparently it was an old Liverpool saying. And then I found... Whoever knitted your face dropped a stitch. I just, I almost died. I thought it was hysterical. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> so I've been all over the place with various things. 
Um, as far as uh, reading books and things, I'm for my own personal reading, I'm still working on the series of the The Borrowers by, I believe, Mary Norton. I'm on book number five, which is The Borrowers Avenged. And I'm over halfway through with that one, and I'm loving it so much. Yes, they are books written for kids, but I really, really like them. They're so good. There's drama. Um, there's a little, a little, little bit of comedy in there. Um, and yes, in spite of the fact that they're like five inches tall, they deal with a lot of issues and a lot of problems and surviving and, and so forth. It's good stuff. Mm, yeah, it's good stuff. It's not cutesy. Um, it's, it's much more serious, believe it or not, but I, I absolutely love the series. I don't think I'll be able to do this series on my channel though, because it's still too new, therefore copyrighted. So eh, whatever. At any rate. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's, let's see what we, what else we got going on today. All right, so the other day I went to my P.O. box and I found this. Ugh. It's not a big box, but it is a heavy box. And I have no idea what's inside or really who it's from. Um, it's from Cape Coral, Florida, um, and it's a suite number. So I'm assuming it's a business. I have no idea. No idea. Um, it does, however, say that it's addressed to me as Fiber Spider and my full name, so I don't know, but we're going to find out. And I have been patiently waiting, and my mom has been like, so when are you going to open the box? And I'm like, patience, dear, patience. Um, so, by the way, guys, you are so sweet. You are so very sweet. Always wishing my mom you know, happy this and happy that and happy the other, you know, whether it's Valentine's Day or just, you know, hoping that all of us are safe. You guys are so sweet. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> now I do see it appears to be an invoice or something. Um, doesn't say who it's from though. Interesting. Um, maybe there's a note in here somewhere. I don't know, but, oh, well, we do have a sticker. Now this is coffee. This is a lot of coffee. This is Bones Coffee. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I, I have no idea who sent this. I don't know if it's from the company, company themselves, just like when I got those protein bars. I, I don't know. I have no idea. As far as the protein bars, were they tasty? Mm -hmm. Would I buy them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, they, they were a good little snack. Um, some of the flavors were better than others. The birthday cake, I didn't care for. Uh, the, the peanut butter and the chocolate, it was tasty. It wasn't overtly filling, but they weren't bad. It's just it, protein bars are not like my usual go-to. Um, usually I like stuff that isn't good for me. <laughs> but I love the logo. Bones Coffee. You know, it makes me think of Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, let's take a look-see. There is a lot in here. Apparently, on the, um, the description, there's a five-bag sample pack. So it's a ground bag, uh, one chocolate raspberry, French vanilla, red velvet, salted caramel, strawberry cheesecake, and oh fudge. And then a uh, holiday sample ground. Interesting. Um, was totally not expecting this, believe you me. But I, uh, again, I love the packaging. How cute is that? That is adorable. So this is apparently oh fudge. And, oh, it's Christmas story. Because it's when he's saying, oh, fudge. But I didn't say, oh, fudge. Um, he's wearing the, the bunny suit. And then uh, there's, was it Flick with his tongue stuck to the pole, although he's a little skeleton. That is so cute. Oh, and 
it's the leg lamp. That is really cute and clever. So this is O oh Fudge. Okay. And then, oh, how adorable. Jingle Bones. This is so cute. Okay, so there's more O oh Fudge. And this is, ooh, eggnog. Hmm. And this one is gingerbread man. Of course, he has a bite out of his head. It's, this is adorable. It's morbidly adorable. Um, ooh, white chocolate peppermint bark. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Salted caramel. And then French vanilla. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. I love berets. I do. I used to wear one all the time and I have made them. Um, I, You know what? I should make another one sometime soon. On my to-do list chocolate raspberry oh, dark chocolate and raspberry are a match made in heaven um the godiva bars with the it's the dark chocolate little slab with the little raspberry filling if you haven't ever tried one try one i am not a chocolate snob by any means but those are good strawberry cheesecake Looks sort of like Vertigo, you know, when he has that like weird, creepy dream hallucination sequence, you know, like he's like, oh, I'm falling, ah. you know, I love Hitchcock. And last but not least, Red Velvet. That is so cool. Okay, now there's no other additional note or anything in here, so I don't know who sent it. If, if, if whoever sent it is watching, please, in the comments section, let me know, because I would like to give proper thanks if I can. Um, this is awesome. This is thoroughly awesome. And it's already ground. I mean, I have a coffee grinder now, thanks to Susan. Um, but uh, it's already ground. It's good to go. But yeah, as far as on here... I'm not seeing anything from who it's from, but I thank you wholeheartedly and very, very much. I will be trying these out most definitely. Um, and I will let you know what I think about these. Um, my guess is they're going to be awesome sauce because I love flavored coffees. What a treat. Thank you so very much, whoever you are. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'm good to go for quite some time now. Mm. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a lot of coffee. Uh, I just showed my mom and she's like, oh, I can't wait to try. Oh, fudge. So it's a good thing I got the big bag and the little bag. So sharing is not going to be a problem whatsoever. Again, to whoever it was that sent that, thank you so very much. I am good for coffee for a while. Thank you. And also that sticker, I got it on the back of my handy dandy notebook for when I do my pattern writing. And this, this sticker was given to me as well. This lovely Jemmy spider. Now for the giveaway. Okay. I was thinking what would be good for the giveaway? I've done yarn. I've done gift cards. I've done all sorts of things. And I thought, hmm, I got it. <laughs> so this is also, by the way, a sneak peek of tomorrow's tutorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's a twofer. Here is one of my latest projects. I want to unfold it a little bit. This is the granny brick wall blanket in a continuous join as you go joining process. It is really easy. It's a lot of fun. 
And this blanket is going to go to a lucky winner. Yes. And I, I did, I did measure it. So it is 71 inches in length and 53 inches in width so that you know what, what the dimensions are. And this was, believe it or not, really easy to put together. A lot of sewing in of ends. I'm not going to say that there isn't because every time you do one of these bricks or one of these squares right here, you do have to sew in two ends per motif. Yeah, that's the nature of the beast, but it is a really easy project because instead of the join as you go method where you make a square and then when you're finishing up your second square, you're having to attach it to your first square. No, the joining happens after you're done with all of your motifs. And then it's just one long continuous join with the, the grout of the bricks. And it is such a breeze, such a breeze. And I already filmed uh, a bit for the crochet along. It is more than one part. Yeah, but I'm well on my way. And so one of you is going to get the blankie. And I really hope that whoever wins it really, really likes it. Okay, so for the birthday giveaway for the granny brick wall blanket. Oh, by the way, this is made of Pound of Love. And um, I used, this was Elephant Gray for the grout or mortar, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I used Elephant Gray and I used Terracotta for the bricks. I thought, how appropriate, right? So it is acrylic. It is machine washable. So no worries there. It's very soft and squishy. Love it. Um, so as far as the giveaway, to enter in the comments section down below, since it's a birthday giveaway and it's about age and so forth, I'm not going to ask you how old you are now because that, that would be rude. You know, I know that a lot of you don't care, but no, I'm not going to ask you how old you are now. What I want to know is how old were you when you started stitching, whether it was knitting or crocheting or what have you, what, what sort of stitchingness you're into. Um, how old were you when you started, you know, um, and then like, you know, like how many years you've been doing it or something, something to that effect will be an appropriate entry to the giveaway. Okay. I think that's, I think that's fair. Yeah. And please do of course be a subscriber. Please be 18 or older. Let's keep it legit. Okay. And also because this is not, this is not light. There's a lot of, there's a lot of blanket here um, and it is going to be a heavy package. Please be a U.S. resident so that I can keep the shipping down, please. I would really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you can leave a comment by all means, um, but if you are not a U.S. resident, then please state that and I will pick another entry. I mean, by all means, leave a comment, but U.S. residents only for this one, please. Um, I will be doing more giveaways that will be open to everybody. I've done it before, so don't feel left out. I, I, I love everybody around the world, no matter where you're from. But for this one, it's going to be U.S. only. I'm sorry. I try to, I try to have a balance going on. I do. Um, maybe I'll do uh, gift cards at some point in the future. Um, or something smaller and lighter, but this, this is a heavy sucker. <laughs> so that is how you can enter for your chance to win the blanket. And, uh, also of course, yes, you can make one of your very own starting tomorrow. Um, it's, it's such a great project. I absolutely love it because I love anything to do with granny. Um, whether it is, you know, the, uh, the squares or now the bricks, uh, the continuous join as you go is such a great technique and process. I did do it once before where it was just all squares. And then I'm like, wait a minute, can I do it with bricks? 
And I did see something to the effect, but it was sewing them together. And that's, I don't like sewing granny squares together. Not if I can eliminate that much more work. Um, and I decided to do this as a separate crochet along tutorial because since the bricks are offset, because they're staggered, you have a weird joining like right here. It's like, all right, how, how do we get, how do we get beyond that? You know? And so I figured, you know what, let's just do a whole tutorial for it um, and give it its due, you know, give it fair, give it fair play. Okay. So that's going to be the tutorial for tomorrow and also for Sunday as well, because it is going to be more than one part. Cause you guys know, I like to be thorough. Mm -hmm. Yes. The first part, it's going to be on the squares and the bricks specifically. And then part two, which I already filmed, I filmed both of them already. Uh, part two, uh, is on it's done in tiers. It's done in rows for those of you that are not familiar with the process. So I did the first tier and then the second tier. And then I'm going to do, I'm thinking two more tiers uh, in tutorial format because I like to be thorough. I don't like to be redundant, but I like to be thorough because I really, really, really want to make sure that you guys totally get the process. Mm hmm. And then I will also show you how to clean up the edges so that it'll look nice and neat and pretty like this, um, because you could leave it as is, but it doesn't look as nice if you just leave it. That's personal opinion, personal preference. So you have the option, you know, because I do get a lot of questions and comments saying, all right, how do you put a border on it? Well, a lot of projects... I don't, but for this one, I thought, yes, it, it's warranted. So there you go. So for your chance to enter, you know, uh, for your chance to win, enter in the comments section, write down how long you've been stitching for or what age uh, you started stitching. Me personally, I'm going to be 42 next week. 42, the meaning of life, the universe and everything. A Checker's Guide to the Galaxy Reference. I love, love that book. Love the series. Um, it's also one of Lewis Carroll's favorite numbers, by the way. Rule 42, no person may be over one mile high in the court. Hmm, yes. Um, so, and I've been stitching since I was about mm, 20, 21, thereabouts. Um, so about, about 20 some odd years. So, hmm, yeah getting better with age. <laughs> anyway, so that's all you have to do to enter for the giveaway. Good luck to whoever may win and somebody's going to win. Hmm. Alrighty. So in one week, I am going to announce the winner of the giveaway. And so that'll be on February 19th. And I will go through the random comment picker and pick out a, a comment um, and announce the winner. Very exciting. And yes, just like I said, the only stipulation, please be a US resident um, so that, and 18 or older, and please be a subscriber. That would be, that would be lovely. Um, and I will announce the winner. And then if I don't hear from the winner in one week's time, I will pick another one to be fair. Okay. So please stay tuned. Yes, because whoever it is that wins, I want it to go to them legitimately. Yes, of course. Um, and it has happened before where a week goes by, two weeks goes by. Please, you know, stay tuned next Friday for the announcement of the winner because I want whoever won to get it. Okay. I can't stress that enough because there's only so much I can do on my end and I do try to do everything that I can. So that being said, there you go. So that, that's my, my, my big, uh, you know, birthday giveaway announcement and I couldn't be more pleased. And I hope you guys, you know, um, enter for your chance to win and we'll go from there. Okay. 
So again, thank you, thank you, thank you to whoever it was that sent me that coffee. So very sweet. Thank you. Please, in the comment section, let me know who you are so I can say a big old thank you. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and uh, until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, which I will be able to do in abundance now. Stay stitching and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a good one.